not stand it. Dear friends, thanks to the idea for the opportunity. In my brief presentation, I will be focusing on the use of a simple telemedicine tool, diabetes telemanagement system proven for its effectiveness over a decade in over 75 86 percent of patients judiciously using it. I am looking into the reasons or why it has failed in a minority with type 2 diabetes. These are my disclosures. We come from the state of Kerala in the southern part of India. It is a land of paradoxes. At one end, we have 99% literacy and the highest life expectancy in India. And on the other end, we have very high prevalence of accidents and diabetes. Now the question is, will literacy help? The answer is yes, of course. Diabetes education and awareness programs are bringing remarkable changes in diabetes prevention in the state. However, looking into the aspects of diabetes control in the general population on conventional or regular care, this is the data from our own diabetes screening programs across the state of Kerala. The average A1C is up to the tune of 9.4 percentage, an alarming rate. In our centre for educated patients, we offer them three choices during their enrollment with the clinic. The first one, completely based on a telemedicine with clarity of care and with promise on reaching the targets of therapy. The second one, which involves direct visits and SMBJ4, more relaxed into the patient, no compulsion, no reminder calls. And the third one is the usual care or the conventional care involving infrequent direct visits and measurement of fasting and postpartum. What is DDMS? DDMS is Diabetes Telemanagement System. Originally launched way back in 1998. It is a simple but a complex tool, a network of devices, team and patients offering a live, interactive, round-the-clock communication with an individualized approach. We are not using any algorithm for titration of procedures. Because we are using algorithms in our clinical trials. And the program involves very intense follow-up. Believe me, it is a headache for the patients when they enroll in this program. But they enjoy it. The strength of the program is with the truly multidisciplinary team of over 20 trained doctors, nurses, pharmacists, dietitians, psychologists, educators, etc. The patients during a physical visit to the hospital will undergo evaluation, intense education, counseling and training on monitoring and use of devices. They will then measure the glucose values, report the data on blood sugars, diet and activity at specified intervals of time. Over the telephone, email or through the internet websites, the DDMS team will analyze the data and will get back to the patients on modification of their dosages, diet and lifestyles. Each patient is different for us. The targets on fasting, postprandials, dinner value, A1C, other metabolic parameters are all customized and periodically revised based on several parameters like basal A1C, the age of the patient, 
presence and absence of comorbid illnesses, etc., etc. The system also has got the advantage of providing reminders to the DDMS staff to call back and remind the defunders. It has got multiple merits. However, the patient need to have just a telephone at home for communication. And each telecommunication is an opportunity for an education with a tiny diabetes education module. It ensures drug compliance, not only with diabetes medications, but also with statins, ACI, etc. Cost effectiveness and is time tested. We ensure in the majority not only to achieve but also to sustain the targets of three major pillars of diabetes care the A1C, the blood pressure, and the LDL goals. And this is the data on the successful use of telemedicine in a highly selective group of thousand compliant subjects over six months presented early this year at the ADK. Here in this study, we are assessing the satisfaction and the perceived success rates of DDMS and the reasons for lack of follow in that minority which failed in the follow up to the DDMS program. We distributed questionnaires to the patients during their physical visit based on convenient sampling to assess satisfaction with the DDMS program its effectiveness in relation to high sugars and why they didn't follow with the program. And we looked at the differences in between the sexes. Majority of the non-compliant subjects expressed overall satisfaction with the DMS program. And despite the fact it's a male or a female, they were sure that the DMS will help them reduce and minimize the glucose. And these were the details of the results. Majority of the males who didn't follow complained that they had very busy, hectic lifestyles. Whereas the females complained about the cost of the glucometer strips as the major barrier. We were partly successful in overcoming this barrier by providing massive discounts to the cost of the strips. In India, we don't have any reimbursement policies. And other reasons were difficult to check four sugars, and that you only one or two times a month. Tension, stress, concomitant illnesses, death in the family, absence of a caretaker at home. And another very interesting finding was they were scared when they were confronted with a high drug glucose reading. It is very interesting to note the reactions of such patients to a very high SMBG value, which precluded them from reporting those values to the DDMS staff. And again, it was interesting to note, well illustrated in the spider chart, that women were more frustrated and upset, whereas men were more angry at a high blood glucose measure. It is a well-established fact that education is a tool for ensuring success in diabetes therapy. However, the issues are different for different subjects. And to ensure long-term success in diabetes care, and to ensure success in community of care, education and counseling have to be customized based on individual concerns. And that alone can ensure long-term success in diabetes therapy. Technology is complementary. It should go hand in hand. And success in technology depends on simplicity in using it. It should be easy to learn with motivating results like the emergence and revolution with the telephone in our daily lives. Technology has got its own limitations, all of you will agree. And being clinicians, we have our own limitations with our time. And I believe that diabetes team is much more important and the most important component in the day. 
the success with diabetes therapy is with the use of right technology in combination with a highly dedicated team. Thank you very much for your patient listening. Thank you. 